Good morning, EVO attendees. As many of you are warming up for pools, I wanted to take a moment to give you all the info you'll need about Project L. Available all day today and tomorrow on the show floor. What you'll be playing is a demo of Project L that we put together just for EVO. Because we're playing an in-development version of the game, we'll provide the controllers and the sticks. But in the future, we'll obviously support all kinds of devices. And we want your feedback. Everyone on the team is excited to put the game in front of the FGC. So let us know what you think. For now though, let's dive in on how to play. Hello everyone, Caroline here. I'm a game designer on the team. Let's get right into it. We'll start with the basics. Project L has light, medium, and heavy normal attacks. Some of these can be modified with a directional input. Here are some basic combos. You can launch your opponent with down, forward, and heavy to continue your combos in the air. Each champ also has a range of special moves tied to the S1 and S2 buttons. You've also got access to two different level 1 ultimates for finishing combos. These use one bar of your ultimate meter. Press down, down, and S1, or down, down, and S2 and try down down S1 and S2 together for your champ's strongest cinematic level 2 ultimate. Uh, uh, fall before me. So with all of these big buttons, how do you defend? Project L has quite a few defensive options. Like you'd expect, holding back or down back blocks. But if you want to get them off you, try a push block or a retreating guard. If you think you've got the reads, you can parry high or low attacks for the cost of one bar of meter. A well-timed parry creates a shockwave that leaves your opponent wide open to attack and refunds the meter cost. But mistiming one leaves you vulnerable to punishment. Is your opponent jumping at you or over you a lot? All champions also have access to an anti-air attack. Try holding down and pressing heavy when your opponent is crowding your airspace. And if you're in a really bad spot, send in your assist champ with a well-timed dynamic save. Even if they're already KO'd, your off-screen partner will still swoop in to help you break up combos. You'll only get to dynamic save a couple of times a match, and it can be countered if you're not careful. Speaking of teammates, remember, you can play Project L solo or with a friend on your team. There are plenty of options for two champs to work together, and pretty much every tag and assist mechanic is tied to the team button. Check it out. So every champion has two assist actions, used by hitting team left or team right. When you're playing solo, both inputs are controlled by you. But if you're playing with a friend, assists are controlled by your teammate off screen. For charged assist, it's a similar deal. Hold the team button down for the assist champion to come out and release it for their move. When you want to quickly swap assist and point champions, hold down the team button. If you want to get him in even faster, just press the team button while they're already on screen. The team button can also be used for a launching attack that queues up your teammate for an alley-oop air combo. Okay, here's a fun one. When you get KO'd before your ally and they're low on health, you can still impact the match with a super powerful off-screen move. We're calling this Last Stand, and it's a way to claw your way back from early losses. <laughs> Lastly, let's talk about the Fuse system. Fuses are powerful synergy options that change up your duo's playstyle. For example, the 2x assist fuse allows your team to throw out two assists back to back instead of one. Another fuse option is Double Down, which lets you and your duo link ultimates together. So during any level one ult, your teammate can also ult with you one after another to deal massive damage. Fury Fuse is a great option for newer players that kicks in when champions are low on health. They'll get a damage bonus and access to a special dash cancel. But if you prefer things a bit more dynamic, 
Freestyle Fuse allows teams to handshake tag multiple times within one sequence. You can pull off some crazy extended combos with this. Stand with me. I know this seems like a lot, but really, you'll pick up most of this as you play. So don't worry too much about the details. Get out there, press some buttons, and tell us what you think. Here is a controller diagram for y'all. Screenshot this now if you want an easy reference. We can't wait to see what you do this weekend with Project L, which, just to confirm, is not our final name. We'll share that a bit later. Riders will be on site to meet y'all, run some sets, and get your feedback. We'll see you soon. Withdraw.